Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be studying how to do your spot trading on Mexi Exchange. How to buy a coin, how to sell a coin, how to set limit orders, and how to use market orders to buy coins in this particular exchange. Mexi Exchange is a wonderful exchange, very easy and user friendly. Meanwhile, if you are passing through my channel for the first time or you are coming across my channel for the first time, I'm Nelson AD. I create cryptocurrency videos to teach you how to trade, how to invest in cryptocurrency and to give you general cryptocurrency tips. Do well to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video. If you have any question regarding this video or any other video I have done in the past, do well to use the comment section to ask any question and i promise i'm going to attend to your questions so let's dive in the first thing you need to do is to have an account with mexi exchange click the link at the description of this video to register an account on mexi exchange and if you use that link at the description of this video you stand the chance to get bonus of nine thousand dollars using my link after registering your account you deposit in your Mexi deposit the capital you are going to be using to trade or the amount you are going to be using to buy or sell coins on the Mexi exchange. When you click on the wallet section, you click on deposit and you click on the coin you want to deposit. Do you want to deposit USDT? Do you want to deposit BNB? You can search for all of that. If it's BTC, you can search for BTC. You click on BTC and copy the BTC address. Ensure you always select the appropriate network you are sending from okay once you are done let's go back to the home page this is the regular home page of every exchange at the top you have the banner displaying different advertisements then you have other products like if you click on more you get to see other product Mexi has take your time to explore this section then we get to the market section where we have the gainers we have the newest and a whole lot of that take your time to explore this now to start doing your spot trading you click on trade which is at the bottom center once you click on trade it brings you to the trading interface of Mexi. the first thing you are going to notice is that at the top you are going to be seeing spot that is because this is spot trading you see etf we are not going to be talking about etf in this particular video the next you see features this takes you to the features trading interface but we go back and click on the spot on the trade again which is at the bottom then we click on p2p when you click on p2p it brings you to the p2p interface where you can easily buy cryptocurrency either with your credit card or to use the p2p section which when you click on the p2p at the top it brings you to the p2p section where you can actually buy usdt btc usdc it's that simple let's go back to the trading interface good we are back here we click on spot so that we can start doing our spot trading once you are here the first thing you are going to notice is you notice btc forward slash usdt which is under the spot that is exactly where you can change or select the pair you want to trade so when you click on btc usdt it gives you the market face where you can select or pick any coin you want to trade so let's say we are looking for polka dots we search for dots it gives us dots we can select the first one which is dot usdt automatically we have changed the pair we are going to be trading or the pair we are going to be buying to be usdt polka dots so let's quickly go back to BTC USDT. So once you click on Polkadot again, you search for BTC. That gives you BTC and you select BTC. In the same line where you see BTC, if you look by the right side of it, you are going to see 200X. This signifies that this particular pair is also traded on the futures market. Then after that, you see the candle icon. Once you click on this candle icon, it gives you the chart interface. This is where you can actually do your technical analysis on Mexi exchange. So let's go back. The next thing we need to do is to start doing our trading. Under BTC USDT, you can see orders in red and you see orders in green these orders in red are simply the buying orders and the orders in green 
sorry these orders in red are actually the selling orders and the orders in green are the buying orders okay why the 27,982 you see at the middle is the actual price of BTC at this point okay it's that simple then next by the right side you see buy and you see sell when you click on sell it changes to red if you click on buy it changes to green so we are going to start doing our spot trading so to proceed with our spot trading like i said initially we have to make sure that we have usdt or we have btc in our wallet so we quickly go to the wallet section check the spot section i have a little phone here for this tutorial we go back to the trade section and once we are in this trade section the next thing you need to do is to start placing your order under buy you see a limit that is a kind of order but before we talk about limit order let's talk about the market order so once you click on this limit order you see limit you see market and you see stop limit but for this particular video i'm going to be teaching you exactly how to use limit and market order alone now when you see the buy button which is at the top written in green under that buy button you are going to see limit click on this limit you see market you click on this market now this is a kind of order you use to buy immediately it's an instantly execution kind of order what this means is when you are using the market order you are buying instantly with the current market price so currently bitcoin is at $27,983 so when you are using the market order you are buying exactly that price so with market order you don't have the opportunity to decide the price you want to buy because you are buying with the current market price so for us to use the market order once you select the market order it only gives you one field that field it gives you to fill is to fill in the actual amount you want to buy bitcoin with so let's say you are buying bitcoin with hundred dollars one thousand dollars ten thousand dollars once you select market order you see usdt under that market order you click on it in this case i'll put in 20 dollars and i'll click on buy btc written in green once i click on buy btc it pops up this confirmation page and you click on buy btc immediately you click on buy btc it automatically buys with the current market price if you go to the wallet section and check you can see that i have us i have usdt and i have btc right here if i go back to the trade section again and click on sell okay i can sell every btc i have and for me to be able to sell every btc i have i just toggle this percentage bar right here just like i'm moving it right here move it to the end to select 100 percent of the btc i have then i click on sell btc i confirm again automatically it sells off if i go back to the wallet section you can see i have only usdt here and that is how easy it is to buy and sell with the market order so when we go back to the trade section to see the previous orders or your trade history you simply click the little book icon if you look where you see sell btc if you look under it you see open orders you see fonts and you see a little book icon by the right corner of it if you click on it this gives you the interface to see your trade history if you click on trade history sorry if you click on order history it shows you the orders you've executed and you can see i have only executed two orders which is btc buy and btc sell using the market order so congratulations you already know how to use the market order now let's dive into limit orders so click on market again under the sell button when you click on market again you click on limit click on buy now limit order is an advanced market order like we already know a market order is an order that uses the immediate price of the market to execute an order for you but a limit order gives you the opportunity to decide the exact amount you want to buy okay it's that simple so for us to use the limit order we click here where you see the price of btc we can actually set the price we want to buy we can simply decide to buy btc at $27,000 so let's say we want to buy BTC when BTC gets to $27,000 next we can put the quantity of BTC we want to buy let's say we want to buy one BTC but if you are using a smaller amount 
the number of BTC you are going to be buying is going to be in 0, 0, 0.00 something, just like mine. I'm using $30. So to save myself the stress of trying to know the quantity I can buy with $30, I'll just toggle this percentage bar, move this percentage bar to the right section to put 100% of the amount I have. And once I put it, you can see it's showing me I have $29 here. If I want to use $20 to buy, let's say I don't want to buy with my $30, I could clean this $29. Okay, put in $10. Let's say I want to use $20, I put in $20 and I click on buy BTC. When I click on buy BTC, it still gives me this confirmation page and I'll click on buy. Once I click on buy, observe something under the open order you can see we have an open order here but when we use the market order we never had an open order because a market order executes immediately but a limit order is an order you decide the price you want to buy and that price must be met before your order will be executed what this means is that since i'm buying at twenty-seven thousand dollars, it means that this order will remain open the BTC gets to $27,000. Even if it takes a whole year, a whole month, a whole week for BTC to get to $27,000, that is the only time this order is going to get executed. And is that simple? Okay, that is the difference between market order and limit order. So to use the limit order to buy into the market immediately, just like the way you use the market order, this is what you are going to do. Now, when you look at the left side, you see the orders in red and you see the orders in green. It's very simple. The orders in red are the selling orders. These are people all over the world trying to sell Bitcoin. Why the orders in green are orders of people trying to buy Bitcoin. So for me to buy quickly, all I need to do is I'll click on any of these red orders. Once I click on any of these red orders, observe what happens. The limit price changes, okay, as I click on it. So once I click on this, I toggle my percentage bar to the fullest and I click on buy BTC. Once I click on buy BTC, automatically this order is executed. And if I go to my wallet section, you can see I have actually purchased Bitcoin immediately. Now, what I actually did is I took another person's order, a kind of I instantly purchased BTC from someone who already placed an order in the order book. And that is how simple it is to use the limit order to buy immediately. But if you want to set an order price, let's say you've done your analysis and you want to buy Bitcoin when Bitcoin is at $20,000, it's simple. Just place your order and let it be. So if we go back to the sell section again, to sell this, I can actually decide to sell it at $29,000, okay? And toggle my percentage bar and sell. You are going to notice I'm still having an open order because the price I want to sell is higher than the current price. And because this is a limit order, this order has to be here to BTC gets to $29,000. But if I want to sell this coin immediately, I'll click on cancel. Once I click on cancel, I click on any of these green orders. Once I click on any of them, I toggle my percentage bar and I click on sell and sell off my BTC and my BTC gets sold out immediately. If I go to the wallet section again, you can see I have USDT right now. And that is how simple it is to buy and sell on the Mexi exchange. Do well to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and use the comment section to ask any question or if you have any video you want me to do or any topic you want me to cover in the next video, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section. Also, click on the link at the description of this video to join my Telegram group. See you in the next video.